My name is Akkad Sani from South Sudan and my dream is to play professional football anywhere in the world. I left home with empty hands and a bag full of dreams and ambitions to become a professional footballer. Is it going to be easy? Of course not, but it is definitely worth it in the end. I have chosen to put my life into this and there is no going back till I achieve my dream because dreams are meant to be lived. Where there's a will, there is always a way. Welcome to my journey. This is the road to pro contract.
Good morning. Bye, my friend. Where are you guys going to? I play, play his training. Oh, he has training today? Yeah. Hey, come here, come introduce that's yourself. That's Tomorrow, play his game. Okay, come. What's your name? Yeah, what, what, what position do you play? The left of this song, Clovis. Striker. Striker, yeah. Who is your favorite striker? Your favorite striker? Avasado Leonel Messi. Leonel Messi, no, no, Avasado. Extreme. Leonel Messi, extreme. Jogar que pe. Direito, esquerdo pe. Jogar que pe. Ambos. Dois. Yeah. Why is it that you don't use two? You, you only use one. <laughs> I'm. It's obvious que YouTube. YouTube, see. see, I'm putting you on YouTube, okay? In 10 years, depois de 10 anos, tu vai grande jogador. Claro? Claro. E olha, menino, ainda cá. E tu? Não é jogador? Ainda não. Ainda não jogo? Não. Ah. Ah, ok. See you, friend. Wow. See ya. See ya. Wow. Wow. Hey, so yeah, guys, good morning. It's your boy Sunny right here, and today we are back with another match the vlog. And uh, this match the vlog is a little bit different because it is the op season opener, but for us, it's a little bit different. We are uh, it's a presentation for the players, to the fans, to the community, and to the sponsors. That is what uh, today's game is like. And uh, it's in our home ground, apparently our home ground because our own home ground in Abano here is still, I think, uh, under construction and renovation. So we use uh, uh, a different, uh, we're renting, not renting, I don't know how what the arrangement is, but like, yeah, just like Stamford Bridge doesn't belong to Chelsea, it's they're renting it out. So that's the camp we use, and uh, that's what we're gonna play the game today. We're leaving the house at uh, 2. And uh, today it's me making lunch for the boys in the house. So I have to be also like, I'm going to show you what I'm going to make for lunch anyway. But uh, let me answer, somebody asking the comment section is like, bro, let me ask you this. How do you always take action in whatever you do? Either that's travel, traveling far to some place you don't really know. How do I reach this, that mindset and have that courage? From my, uh, from my, point of view of from uh, uh, my uh, what you call it from my uh, own uh, doings it's uh, my push factor okay what is the push factor what is pushing me to get there what do I have to lose so I'm going to answer this question from my own perspective and uh, what gives me the courage and uh, how do I always take my action of course it's like the situation I'm in is not better than the situation that I anticipate to be in. And that is always what keeps me going. My push factor. Okay. If your push factor is things greater, you always find a way to go. Otherwise, if I, I know if I stay in one place, for example, I know if I stay in Lisbon for as long as I can without coming to Alberno, I know nothing will happen in Lisbon. But I know if I take a step to go to Alberno, I know something better is out there for me and that is what i always put in mind and again i have nothing to lose that's just but i have everything to gain so that also lets me like try to make decisions and uh, because i'm somebody who is ambitious i'm trying to achieve my goal i'm trying to live my life in the best way that i possibly can i'm always trying to make sure that i take every advantage every opportunity that has presented itself to me the thing is here, a lot of us, we have so many opportunities in front of us. And there's just a little crack that you need to realize this is an opportunity. But most people do not want to take it that way. Most people want an opportunity to be presented with a signboard. This is an opportunity. Take it. This is what most people are always looking for. But it's not always that way. 9 out of 10, you're going to just read in between the lines. Or you're actually just going to like take a leap of faith. And go in with the mindset that whatever happens, happens. You see? But opportunities are all over the place. If I never left South Sudan, I would have never been 
uh, I would have never made it to Thailand. If I've never left Thailand, I would have never ended up signing in Malaysia. If I've never left Malaysia, I wouldn't have ended up going to Dubai. And if I never thought of coming to Dubai, I probably would have been to, I wouldn't have never made it to Europe. And it's because of all this, uh, uh, what do you call it, adventurous nature that is in me or that courage in me that to know that I have more better things to achieve ahead of me than where I am. It's what's helped me to get somewhere. I think you can always develop that by always looking around around you and then see, is this exactly what I want for myself? If my life ends today, would I be contented with this? Or do I know there's something better out there for me? You see, that's always the factor that should let you like go for, for it all. Or you can stay back and be like, I'm contented where I am and I think what I have is the best. Uh, the trials is, it's always going to be like uh, opinion based. And there's also just going to be a game of chances. You might be lucky that you do well and you might be unlucky that you don't do well. But in both scenarios, you could be taken. You can, you, there are times where you don't even do well and you're taken and there are times you kill it. And you just not what was needed um, in that very moment. Okay, traveling places, I think all of us are very okay with traveling, but the uncertainty that lies ahead is what people are not, uh, don't always expect. And for me, that is even my biggest desire to like see what is actually on the other side, whether I'm doing it with no money and I don't know context there. I know something there will happen. One thing will lead to another, you see. So that's just the mindset, have a push factor, look around you, see, is what I have, is it better than what I can actually achieve? And thirdly, what do I have to lose? You see, so these are just uh, some of the things that keep me going. Be adventurous, you're still young, all these years, you can never run them back, but the mistakes that you make ahead, you can always go and correct them. Don't look for opportunities, very far they are just within close they're under the closest range take the first step it will lead you to the next and to the next and to the next nobody starts climbing the ladder from the middle they have to start from the first staircase all the way up and that's just how it works so i hope i answered that question if you have more questions comment them down below and now i'm gonna go back to sleep for one more hour because i'm having headache and i wanted to rest properly so that i don't mess up in the game Comida. Então, não vai fazer. Você não tem que mexer. Ah, como? Mexe passado. Perdeste, meu amigo. Perdeste. Perdeste o que você está comendo para lanche. Isso, certo. Perdeste. Isso. Eu vou fazer algo rápido. Começamos a falar tarde. Vou comer e ter um melhor lanche depois do jogo. Bora, bora, Sony! Vai mancar gol hoje! 
Por su actitud, ya. Finalización de Sun. Sun Young Me. <risa> Sabe, sabe, de sabe, 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 Dance, man. Man, I'm gonna go do the ramen dance. I'm gonna go do the. Suave. Mário Furtado está em 37 anos e meio. João Cavaco está em 25 anos e defesa. Nelito Barreto está em 44 anos. Chega 
idade, tem 27 anos, chega do Trucaço de Angola, Gildo Madureira. O último, tem 25 anos, foi campeão na época passada no Ferreirense, Carlinho. A equipa técnica tem como mensagista Miguel Martins. O treinador de guarda-redes André Cravinho. O preparador físico da equipa já fez quase tudo neste clube, Rogério Maigana. O treinador adjunto, Lionel Nané. E o treinador principal, Ruben Ruben Vaz. São diretores desta equipa, José Raposo. Esta já está 
No, this is veterans. So actually wanna go watch the Arsenal Arsenal Man City game. I'm rooting for maybe Arsenal so that uh but then I still want to band my Arsenal friends because if Arsenal wins internet will not rest. But then again if City wins it's going to be a long 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 day for everybody. Like nobody can easily catch City. So that's why I'm I was a lucky want uh Arsenal to win, but their fans wouldn't give us peace. Now I just want to go to the ATM, uh, get out some money, and then go to the coffee shop and uh, sit and watch that. I don't want to watch this game home. I think it's going to be an interesting game, so it's best if I watch it from the cafe where there are people watching and then there's a around. Yes, nothing is more interesting than watching uh, football from a video hall, especially like in Africa, back in Africa. That's the best place to watch football. Home is always boring. But yeah. There is an ATM somewhere here. Do you guys remember I've been here? I don't know where that road leads to, but this is the ATM. Serious. Premier League, don't burn me. So regarding the game of yesterday, we were playing against the B team of one of the teams that played the championship above us. And uh, their B team is the under-19. They play in the second national. So they were, a little bit, they were a bit younger. Most of them were below 18. So from 16 to 18. And uh, we beat them. 5-0 or 6-0, I don't remember. I uh, had myself an assist and a goal. I came in the second half. And uh, our championship officially kicked off today. The team we're playing next, I think they won 4-3. So the momentum is high. And now they're, yet to, uh, they're the ones on our way. Anybody that's standing on our way has to fill the rut. But other than that, uh, I've... To be honest, I didn't even think my registration was going to be possible. I thought I would wait until November, but uh, I'm grateful to the president, uh, Pedro Jonas, because he made everything sound so easy. From the moment we started talking, uh, from the moment he asked me to contact him when I was still in Lisbon, to when he got me the job, to the moving to the house and finding the transportation that would take me to the job, and even up to my registration here, 
everything like to him it was just oh easy going easy going easy going uh luckily for me i had most of the documents that he was asking for everything every actually every other thing that he was asking for i had it uh, i had my national D visa which he asked uh it's expired of course like a year or two, or two ago but he still needed it anyway and i provided it and i think it aided in my uh in my registration so i didn't think it was to me it was complex but to him he made it possible so thanks to you mr pedro jonas and now we're just ready to uh, kick on our championship how it works is we are uh, three series series a b and c win series b and uh, usually i think number one and number two i'm not sure they go for playoffs from this from this series they go for playoffs and then only two i think two or one gets promoted uh, to the next division and uh, I think it's I'm not trying to say it's easy but I think we have a higher chance of winning but now the biggest task lies in the playoffs because playoffs that's where everybody's locked in it's just like people are playing for the games of their lives they need to go a division higher you know and uh, I hope that's where we will uh, will uh, step in and uh, try to be like the victors yeah, that's what we're hoping for of course uh yeah it's just been that it's not starting to get cold and i had winter here is really like it's serious winter it always gets very cold like to even like five degrees or even one almost the same case that i had uh, with my senior, so i'm a little bit used to the cold weather but i just don't like it because i have allergies to cold and dust so it's, I hope it favors me though, but uh, yeah, that's it. That's been it for the live. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did already, please comment, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and just know the subscription is always free. The season is on. I'm going to be bringing you guys always daily vlogs. And uh, if you want to ask something, comment down below, and I will answer it to the best of my knowledge. It's been me, your boy Sunny. Until then. Peace.